it was really tough, uh, especially the fact that the season started uh, pretty well for me. But injuries happen in this game, right? Uh, it was one of those injuries where you couldn't rush back. Uh, and I was going to hurt myself if I did. So I tried to come back. My body was telling me no, so I just had to take uh, a few weeks uh, to make sure I was fully recovered. And and for, for concussion, for a head injury, what were some of the, the things you had to deal with? Because it is it is a problem you know, whenever someone gets a head injury. Yeah, it's uh, luckily for me, I didn't have the major headaches, but the symptoms I did have just wouldn't allow me to play soccer. So, uh, like I said, I, I tried to come back uh, a bit too early, but my body just told me. So I, uh, my team and, and staff just decided to shut me down. Does it does it sort of even feel worse that it, it came with the, with the collision with, with Daniil, a, a former teammate, a friend, and, and all that? It's funny because after the, the head injury, Daniil came to my place after. Uh, we played in San Jose, but uh, there's no hard feelings. Me and Daniil are good friends. We live right beside each other, so I, I would rather it be Daniil than any other player. And, and now you're back here. It's a lot of the guys, it's been a lot of learning under, under Benito. You've been here maybe three days. Just how much have you, have you learned in, in the small amount of time? My first day here, I learned a lot. Uh, he's a, obviously a very experienced coach, uh, and he wants his players to, to develop and get better. It's not just about, you know, it, well, it is about the team, but he, he'll actually spend time with the players and, and make sure they know what they're doing and, and teach them how to improve. So I've enjoyed it so far. Now, it is the end of the MLS season, but uh, now you have this camp, and what are you hoping to, to sort of maybe recover even more, or what are you trying to do in the off season now and with this team? Uh, well, the, I'm fully fit now. I'm fully healthy. I'm just I'm just gonna keep training. I don't need time off. I don't need that much time off. I was out for a while, so after this, I'm hoping to find a, a club and go train and and just keep myself fit. And and now that you are fit, the head injuries behind you. Hopefully, uh, is how how optimistic are you about your future now that you seem to have you know a lot in place? Um, I'm very optimistic. Um, I'm a, I'm a confident player. Um, like I said, things were going well before the head injury and. I just try to remain positive and just work as hard as I can and just take care of the things I can control. And perhaps more than anything, a head injury is something that, that really tests the patients. Uh, it's the sort of thing where you have to be completely healthy. Uh, what have you learned from this experience? Uh, just that, you know, you can lose things so quickly in life in general. So for me, it's just just be happy. You can't, there's certain things you can't control. Uh, like the head injury, um, but I was patient. Uh, it's over now, and I'm just going to enjoy every time I'm on the field.